Hello again. It is April 27th, 2020. And I thought I'd share some initial impressions on my Senville Leto 18,000 BTU heat pump. It's a mini split. And I got this installed and running on April 2nd of this year. So it's just short of one month that I've been using this unit. And as you can see, I am still dressed in white. So it's been used almost exclusively for heat. And I've had many days throughout the month of April where it was down in the mid to low 20s. And this had absolutely no problems heating my small super insulated house. Now before I go through some of my comments about this unit and the installation, I'd really like to thank two YouTube contributors and I will include the links to their channels below. Both channels are excellent. They extremely good information. And if you're considering ins installing any mini split, not watching their uh, channel, in my opinion, is a big mistake. Truly, they just do a top-notch professional job. Now, for my installation, I had a couple of challenges. Uh, one being the location of the head unit inside the house. And as you can see, <laughs> I had a, a, a challenge of how to get the refrigerant pipes from coming through the house down to the outside unit. So my main issue was a vaulted ceiling that runs 12 feet uh, across my living room. So the location of that head unit was a real problem. And the problem being getting rid of the condensate. Originally, I wanted to install it on the far uh, wall over my uh, living room, but I had to think about pumping the condensate. It just, it just got too complicated. So I decided to move the head unit over above this window and came over and down and to the outside unit. And the condensate worked out well I just come out of the uh, line set, run it over to my downspout, and it's plumbed right in, and it just disappears and drains out to the road. As far as operation, I've had only one problem, and again, I'll go back to the Senville tech support. They've been excellent, and any of my questions I've uh, sent to them via email, they've gotten back to me uh, within either hours or minutes. Quite impressive. Now the one issue I had was mid-April I had a heavy wet snowfall and I did not have this cover over the unit yet. And what happened was, I think I got like eight inches of really heavy snow overnight and this thing was running under heat mode and it just packed the back of this unit and the side of this unit with snow. I mean, <laughs> it was solid. So I got a little bit of heat out of it, but it, it wasn't the machine's fault. So a little searching on YouTube and the solution is you just come out with some warm water and, and melt the snow away and it was happy again and off it went. I did install a surge protection device on the uh, power supply. I just have had bad experiences with lightning strikes here. Uh, I've replaced a refrigerator and a solar controller so far due to lightning strikes. And to try to mitigate any uh, surges, I have put in a eight foot ground rod and two ground leads one that goes up to the frame that supports the unit and then one if you can see that red wire uh, right to the case of the unit 
So hopefully any lightning that decides to visit my property will be absorbed and sent into the ground. Now, another challenge I had because of the location is wind. And right through, this is the west side of my house. That is south. And the wind just whistles down through here, something fierce. So I decided to build this enclosure around the unit. And this serves several functions. First of all, the wind. I didn't have this around it. The wind through those condenser coils just whistled something fierce. So that problem is gone and the fan is much happier since it's protected. And I added this for hail protection and to provide a little extra shade in the afternoon because this is the west side of the house. And because of the limited space between the unit and this front portion of the enclosure, I've been experimenting with this little shoot device and my thinking is without this here it's just going to blow against this this fence and create a lot of turbulence and it's just going to recycle itself around the unit so i'm i'm pleased with the way this is working so far and i think i'm just going to leave it the way it is this it's not fancy but it seems to work and the, the air is directed right up out and it doesn't get recycled and I have a little DIY gutter and the water just drains off and runs down here and there's the drain coming out of the bottom of the uh, mini split one issue I had with the components is uh, the, the wire that they supplied with the unit was short. I didn't want to cob it up and splice in wires. I just didn't want to do that. So I just created a loop with a copper line set and that resolved that issue. And I kind of like it like that. It, it just looks nice. And, and this is just from a sump pump. I slid it with a four and a half inch mini grinder and put it around the line set. And I think it looks okay. The only thing I have to do here, I did order stainless steel uh, screws because I read that where they, they rust. So they'll be replaced here once I get some halfway decent weather. I think the only other thing I'm going to do to this is I'm going to put some wire mesh over the top of this for more hail protection. Because if I get heavy hail, it's just going to bounce off this and right into the unit. And... These are my solar collectors, hot water collectors, and I'll probably use the same type of wire mesh over that. And this is here because one hail event, I lost three tubes from uh, being broken by hail. This fence also protects it from uh, rocks being hurled at it from the lawnmower and weed whacker debris. I did put down weed block and I got about three inches of mulch so there shouldn't be anything growing up on the inside of there. The support is DIY. I just bought some steel and welded that up. And just one other comment. <laughs> the whole time I've been out here, this is in heat mode and nothing's run so i mean it's it's amazing how this thing performs we'll take a peek inside and see one other uh, modification i've made all righty i am back inside the house and there's that triangular shaped window i showed you outside and obviously there's the head unit and there's a vaulted ceiling I was talking about. And originally I was going to install a head unit right there. But 
it would have to be extremely high up and getting to the unit to clean it it just and getting rid of the condensate it just didn't work just didn't make sense so that's where it ended up now you'll notice uh, that strange looking black device uh, sitting on top of the unit after watching a lot of videos it occurred to me that these things get dirty uh, quite quickly and because I have a lot of space above the unit and I realize a lot of these are installed jammed right up against the ceiling but here I had the space so I built a lightweight frame and covered it with air conditioner pre-filters and it just sits on top of the unit and I'm hoping that eliminates a lot of the dust and, and crap that's getting sucked inside that unit now it's only been just short of a month so it looks nice and pristine inside there so again all I got to do is it just sits there I just take it off rinse it put it back up and it should be good to go and thanks again for taking the time to watch my videos and have a nice day